All right, guys, let's do this. What up? It's JoJo on the radio. This is the iHeartRadio Countdown, and oh, my God, great to see these ladies. Black Pink is here. Yeah! Oh, my God. Hey, uh, are you enjoying yourself so far in the U.S.? It's been, I know it's been crazy, but how are you having fun? Still a little bit jet lag, but <laughs> yeah. How, how, <laughs> what's the, the flight from Korea to here? What is, how long is that flight? 12, 12 hours. Goodness gracious. All right, just so people know, for people who, who are listening on the radio, if you wouldn't mind, can you each introduce yourself? Of course. Hi, Blinks. I'm Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Blinks. This is Rose. Hi, I'm Jenny from Blackpink. Hi, I'm Jisoo from Blackpink. Oh. <laughs> here we go, man. They're all here. Lots to chat. Music, live, tour, album, of course. Talk about the excitement of you guys getting back together and doing this again as a group. You, you must be through the roof getting back together and doing it. Yeah. <laughs> or not. We all, like, look at each other. Yeah. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really exciting. It's been a while since uh, we came out uh, with a full-length album. And so, yeah, like, we worked really hard on it, and we're just hoping that the fans are enjoying it so far because we're having so much fun. Yes, we're a bit jet-lagged. <laughs> if we look a little quiet... Tiny bit jet lag, but we're having so much fun promoting this album, so we're very, very glad. Over the break, did you guys see each other very much? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we were in the studio pretty much a lot, so. running into each other, so... Yeah. yeah. Do you like... Do you like is, is the studio work fun, or is it work? It's fun. It's, it's fun. fun. There are moments where we all get serious and then get into the work zone, but a lot of the time, we just... Have fun. We just jokes around. Yeah, we make most of the time. time. <laughs> Amen. So we're just like you got to have fun. Otherwise, why why do it? You know. Yeah. Of course, uh, the main reason they're here, uh, aside from the fact that I think they they like my hair. Do you like my hair? Look at this. <laughs> my I daughter Sophie. Like she's messy, my. Messy it's, hair. <laughs> it's a, it's a it's nice style. Whole there. messy hair. <laughs> my daughter looks at me. She's like, "Which my daughter's here?" And she has a question for you. But she's like, "Dad, what the heck?" She's like, "Dude, your hair is just Aww. I know, I know." Uh, this album, one of the most highly anticipated albums in recent memory. I mean, th- this album, Born Pink, it-, it felt like the world stopped for a second when the album came out. Aww. And for an example, when the when the single came out, when a Pink Venom came out, came out me and my daughter are driving, me and, so- and we had to pull over onto the side of the road so no, we could watch. It's honest to God. God. Oh, honest to God. Thank you. That so, means so much. So talk about this album. What should fans know about about the album? This album consists of eight songs uh we we released a priest release single in august uh pink venom right and the title of the album is called shut down <laughs> yeah like i just said it consists of eight songs and we prepared it for a while now so we're hoping that the fans are enjoying it as much as we did uh making it and recording it yeah we were talking studio moments earlier are there any funny Behind the scenes studio moments when recording this. Funny moments. I mean, we're always sitting there, literally laughing. I feel like every laughing. time we get into the recording studio to do like a um a group group what do you group call it? recording. Yeah, I don't know, like, like recording you know session how we kind do of like black, black pink, 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 you know, stuff like that. We black will actually get pink. into the studio together and stand in front of one mic. We have to look at each other and give a cue and then do the black pink stuff, the introduction stuff. Can you do that? Can you guys do that? Like, I want to I wanna be a part of it. Just for oh. <laughs> Black Maybe. pink. Hey, black pink. pink. <laughs> yeah. That was stuff my... like this, we always have a lot of fun <laughs> memories out of it because we just can't stand each other, like, looking. I, I know, but we have to, like, we, just, to, we like, burst into it. Like, we place. laugh out so much that... Yeah, it's hard to get a good good session out of that. <laughs> Love that. Most of the time, it's like when we're recording. I'll we pull that mic to you. We have headphones on, so we hear the music. But then when we're recording, all like all four of us, like only one of us get to use the headphones. So it's funny when like it's silent. Right. And we're trying to like sing all together <laughs> in like harmony or something. It's funny. Yeah. So basically, yeah. what you guys are saying is you guys are just normal people in a hot mess like the rest of us. Oh, yeah. That's that's the that's oh, what we're yeah, getting yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. By the way, doing the black pink thing with you was sort of like a really cool. That was I get I get major points for I did the thing with you. <laughs> I'm gonna play that back. God, you guys don't even know fan reaction in the U.S. Everywhere you go, is it just pure madness? 
well, we just got here yesterday. So nothing so yet. Have, have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I have to yep. see. Maybe what do you think? <laughs> uh, well, you know, I don't know what you've seen so far. I haven't been with you guys, but let me tell you. It is, I mean, if I said, if I, if I made the statement like, hey, it's JoJo, top secret info, Blackpink's going to be at the, I don't know, pick a restaurant. The restaurant, <laughs> the, 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 the sandwich shop. I would have a, a mob scene. It would be thousands. And I'm not just saying that to make you feel, as you know, it would be crazy. And I find that, well, I think I would find that exciting. Is it exciting when you have those big moments or is oh, it just yeah. overwhelming? Definitely. Um, we, we, we get surprised as much as the fans su- get surprised by seeing us. So <laughs> every time they're like, they, if if they do recognize us on the street or wherever we go, we we always go. Oh my God, Link! Ah, so nice to meet you. So yeah, it's it's fun running into like fans and you guys especially get, out here. Get recognized a lot on the street or no? Because sometimes people are like, "Why are they here?" Like you uh, know, they catch you catch them off guard. Yeah, well, some, I think sometimes it's like fifty yeah. fifty. <laughs> I think. I bet you get the looks like, "Is that who I think?" Wait a yeah. minute. <laughs> All right, my daughter Sophie. <laughs> Lisa's met her. The rest of you guys haven't yet. She has a question. Sophie, come say oh, hi to the ladies. Oh. Let's go, Sophie. Oh, let's go. Hi. Do it. hi, Sophie. Hi. 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 I love your nails. <laughs> okay, so what are your favorite U.S. cities you've been to and some of your favorite U.S. food you've tried here? Mm. Favorite city? She's better at this than me. <laughs> We're in LA. Let's say LA. LA. For LA. We love LA. Now this is a national countdown, so it plays everywhere. So you oh. probably like New York too, I'm guessing. Not as much as LA though. <laughs> but, um I think um after the tour that we we have upcoming starting next month, I think we could kind of see which city that we prefer more. Because the first tour that we did, it was our first time visiting yeah. Like you know, all the cities in the U.S. So, right. yeah, it's we're getting there. We're trying to see what we prefer and what what could be our favorite city. But just yet, we we just love spending time out here. It's love it. Well, yeah. I, I'm not gonna fight you on that. Good for you. And uh, and we'll circle back when the when the tour ends or when, next time you come in and we'll see what's. Hey, what uh, what about the food? She was uh, the what favorite foods? Favorite food? Food? Have you tried? Well, oh. it's in L.A. In and Out Burger. Yeah, Jesus just In-N-Out. said I ate In and Out. In the morning. Yeah, in the morning. This morning. Yeah, not for breakfast. <laughs> wow. Is it the greatest burger ever or no? Ever. Oh! Wow. And anytime any, anyone comes to LA who's, you know, like one of their first visits and they've heard the hype on In N Out and they go, it's, it's a life changing, it's a thing. It is a thing. Something about it. Let's talk tour because the tour is about oh. to happen. Uh, Born Pink World Tour. Uh, <laughs> How excited for, for this tour? You guys, are you nervous or excited or a little bit of everything? A little bit of everything, I think. Right? Yeah. But I think we're ready. Yeah. No? I think we're, we're, ready. Think we're, we're definitely yeah. ready to tour. Yeah, so it's, we're waiting for, for this for, for, for two, Yeah. For two we, we talk about um, how we all go home and when we have some time off, we all watch um, tour videos. Right. <laughs> and then we look back and we're like... Man, I miss that. Like, I need, we need to get back out there. So I think it's the, time for us to. The atmosphere. Yeah. When's the last, uh, the last show you guys did, as a, uh, as a group? Like a yeah, year, like two years ago, two, three, three years ago, two right? Years. Over two years. It's a been a minute. Over two years. And the question I need to know is, when you go on a world tour, aside from clothes, obviously, what do you pack? Like, what do you put in the suitcase? Oh, so that's, so much to pack. So like much. Yeah. my whole house. <laughs> I pack our life in there. Yeah. I mean, do you have like nine suitcases? You just pull these things around because we're 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 taking a little vacay for like a week. I I've, I've packed everything on the planet in there, but you guys are doing a world tour. That just sounds. I mean, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I think I've learned a lot of lessons last time we did the tour because I went on not prepared. So this time, even though I had, I probably had fifteen bags at, at that time too. But <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm ready to pack like twenty bags this time. Yeah. You know, throw in all my. From my pajamas to Your my pillow. my pillows to everything that that could help to make me feel like I'm home in mm-hmm. some sort of way because right. you know we were away for so long, so maybe like a cute photos of my past and our families and just yeah, <laughs> a photo like beside yeah. the bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
open the suitcase and there's your cat. You're like, oh God, how did oh, I get this? What? this. <laughs> Sorry. When you guys go on, you, know, you do your tour and whatnot, and all these shows, is there a pre-show ritual? Like so right before you go on stage, what do you what do you do? Oh. Stretching. Oh, yeah. oh. Jisa actually really likes to eat spicy, spicy noodles or spicy yeah. food before she goes on tour. Right before you go on? Yeah, she feels like it opens up her throat, <laughs> which I don't, I disagree, <laughs> but I it's her, it. it's her little thing that she does. Yeah. So you're back to like, you take a bite, ah, yeah. and then just, oh, uh, oh. Oh. I guess, yeah. You should try. Try that. that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I will. I should do it before every radio show. Just yeah. get, get a little, little crazy. Hey, um, do, are, are you nervous before you go on stage or does, and, and I guess, when you walk into the stage, I guess I, I love the, the sound of the crowd. Mm-hmm. And it gets, as you get closer to the stage, because backstage is usually quite a bit away. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you're walking through the hallways and you start to hear the crowd. Like, ah. mm-hmm. Are you nervous when you hear that? Are you excited? What, what's going through your mind when that happens? Excited. Yeah. Exciting and nervous at the same time, yeah. I think. Yeah. Especially if it's like the first first few shows that we, we go on, it's more towards the nervous. Right. But because it goes on for months, it, the more we hear it, it's it's more about the excitement, I think. Pink Venom. This track. I mean, this is the track I was telling you that when it came out, we, of course, premiered it in hell, in L.A. Uh, we heard it on the radio. Then my daughter, we had to pull over, and then we, we had to watch the video. You know, I'm, I'm literally, we're on the side of the road watching, you know, that's the power of we Black Pink. Guys. That's so sweet. What do you want fans to know about Pink Venom? I think we were all very excited when we came out with the concept of Pink Venom. Mm. Like, especially because we've never done anything so conceptual that something that we could have a lot of experiment with the visuals and the videos. Right. Like, Pink Venom, when you hear you immediately, there's a lot of images that comes up to your mind. And we were trying to play play along with it in the videos. And what else? Like, I think the hook itself is very, just really catchy and mm. fun to sing along. And... You know, we haven't released a song in a while, so we were just really happy to give back what the fans fans might have wanted. And what do you want the fans to know about <laughs> Shut Down? I think Shut Down, yeah, it's very hip-hop. Uh, it's bringing out the uh, very hip-hop side of Blackpink. And um, I think, uh, well... Maybe I, just, I should just hit the red blinking button and just let the song do the talking for itself. That would be cool. Because this thing, I mean, my God, you guys, everything you touch is just magic, honestly. Aw, thank you. The video, let's talk the video for Pink Venom. To my understanding, it's the, I mean, not that it's about money, but you spent, you guys, this is the most expensive <laughs> video that I think you guys have ever done, right? Is it? That's what, that's what I was told. It was like the question that like, is this? Better, better check the bank statement on that. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, so, and it looks like some videos, you, you when you watch some videos and they say, and this video cost a lot. And you look at it and you're like, why did that video cost a lot? This video, you look at it and you're like, oh, I, I get it, you know. Yeah. Talk about the shooting, uh, you know, how long did it take to shoot, you know. What was it like on the on the set? Was it a long shoot, short shoot, exhausting? It's a long, long shoot. shoot. It's like t- six, five, okay. five, six days. Our video is always good for always. <laughs> Endless <laughs> hours. <laughs> but I think um, for, for Pink Venom, we had really amazing um, sets individually so we put a lot of thoughts into that into bringing the venom idea on like how each member has a different image on it and in terms of like the group shots we we were all really amazed when we all walked into the last dance break scene and the sets were just looking the jungle was looking so real and we felt like we needed to shoot the whole video just in that one spot so um the fact that we Saved it so we could do the dance break there. I think it was a good, good save, save, mm-hmm. saving there <laughs> for the fans to watch. But yeah, it was it was a great experience. If you guys haven't seen that video, my God, what do you consider? You guys have done a lot of performances. What do you consider your best live performance? I mean, everything was it went perfect. Which it, what, where was it? And you know what was so good about it? I see you to smiling. Be seen on our upcoming tour. <laughs> <laughs> Our, our best performance is yet to come. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, well, uh, best. I mean, I think each of us would have different opinions on what the best performance was. Cause, but, I mean, uh, definitely uh, VMAs was extremely fun um, to be mm-hmm. performing. That was exciting. Mm-hmm. I but bet. A lot of the recent yeah. ones. It, it had been a while since we had performed in 
front of such a large crowd mm. uh, and uh, as nervous as we were to get on that stage I think the outcome was uh, very uh, satisfying and we had a lot of fun I just I had a lot of fun on stage and yeah I think the VMAs was one of them Coachella. I felt like I've said this Coachella. a couple of times but yeah Coachella is too many like times. <laughs> one, of, one of the unforgettable stages yeah. for us it was our first time doing a big stage in the U.S. and it was like an opening for our L.A. tour. Um, yeah, I think the Coachella tour was, I think it was our most energetic stage. I wouldn't say it was like the best one, but yeah, we all had some sort of hype that nobody expected, like none of us expected. So, yeah. I think the last time you came to, well, the time you came to see me as a group was just after that oh, Coachella yeah. performance. And yeah. I think you, if I recall the conversation, you said something to the effect of, you can't believe everybody was there to see you guys. Cause a lot of groups perform. You said when they, everybody was, you know, had, they were, you know, singing the song. I mean, it was, it was clear. They weren't just there by accident. They were the, and that was like a big moment in the U S like, Hey, we're here. Let's do it. You know? So last time you told me a story about the paranormal and I'm going to go, I'm going there again. I love the paranormal ghost UFO. <laughs> UFOs, everything in the middle. I'm obsessed with it. I've got a podcast called Paranormalish. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's it, uh, this is not just a Halloween thing. This is a year-round thing. Have you had a paranormal encounter? And I know you guys told me about one last time. Mm-hmm. Do you recall mm-hmm. that story? Or if there's another one, let me know. But uh... yeah, I think I have one. Yeah. Okay. I would love to Please. tell <laughs> you guys. Yes. Well, um, it's in my computer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, at the back. There's a garbage, like a sensor garbage yeah. that it just came out when you like. Oh, you put your there. hand kind of over it and the garbage lid kind of. Yeah. Gotcha. So I was like sitting, like do like you know, YouTube stuff. And then suddenly at the back, it's just like, wink. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe my cat just like, you know, <laughs> walk past. I mean, yeah. <laughs> wink. So, so I, I look back and there's no one. And then just keep it. <laughs> like every like five or ten minutes. Is there is there a history to the room, or maybe it, maybe there's a very tidy ghost that likes to throw things away? Like some, I don't know. That'd be that'd be that'd be handy, but, right? But I get used to it. I get used to it now. So I hear I hear it every day. So it still does it. Yeah. I wonder if there's live something. I just live it like that. Wow. It's, it's like it's oh, inter- you know, okay, maybe he, maybe they bored. <laughs> they're just like wink, wink, wink. <laughs> I was like, okay. I guess that's one way if you're a ghost to get somebody's attention. Like, I'm going to keep opening this trash can. Until, until one day. All right. Your, your mission, if you don't mind, is to, you know, figure out what's going on and report back if you can. I want to hear. And by the way, uh, you guys will be doing this tour soon, you know, obviously. Would you ever consider staying in the haunted room? Because a lot of hotels have the haunted room. Uh-huh. Would you ever consider staying oh in God, one? Oh, you get the goosebumps already? Do Everybody That's tells so me scary. no. It's okay. Yeah. But if, if you ever end up with another encounter experience, kind of bank it in your brain there. And next time you come in, I need to know. Uh, could you guys teach me to say something in Korean? Mm. Yeah, definitely. What would you like to say? All right. I would like to learn. Here's what I want. If, you know, hi, I'm Jojo Wright. I know Blackpink. I know Blackpink. I know Blackpink. So, Blackpink. hi, I'm Jojo Wright. Oh. I know Black. I think it's good. That, that'll come in handy. Somewhere, clearly, you know. Yeah, if you're ever in Korea, I that's gonna be exactly. We we plan to visit, you know, Korea. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. 안녕하세요, 저는 조조입니다. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> one, one more time. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 저는 I'm 저는 uh, 안 안녕하세요. 저는 저는 조, 조조입니다. Jojo right. Jojo입니다. Jojo right입니다. Jojo right. Imida. Yes. yes. That that's that's all. Uh, that's I no, said. No, no, said the more, first half. One more sentence. And oh uh, I'm so nervous right now. 저는 저는 black pink black pink. Yeah, you could just yes. say black pink. Black pink. Amida. Amida. Yeah. Amida. Yeah. Let's I'm gonna make it into a sentence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You this. got it. What, say it one got more time, Jisoo. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 저는 저는 Jojo, Jojo Wright. Jojo Wright. Imida. Imida. Blackpink. Shonen. Blackpink. Shonen. Blackpinka. Amida. Amida. Yeah! You got it. <laughs> wow, can you see the stress on my face? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go back on the album. Favorite songs 
from the album. Give me a favorite song. Let's all give different ones so they all have to listen to our favorite wow, songs. Okay. Good strategy. Can I all guess? Right. Yeah. Our favorite song? Wait, this is so hard. <laughs> well, it, you know, no pressure, but yeah. one of your faves. One of But don't faves. name all of them because one that's of- cheating. That is cheating. Ah, one of my favorite. Oh, my God, that's so hot. Mm. I really like Tally. Ta- <laughs> I like Tally. Mm, all right. Tally. That's a good song. Yeah. One of my favorite songs. Mine is Type of Girl. Mm. Type of girl. Mine <laughs> is shut down. Oh, no. oh it's bam. Mine. <laughs> Boom. What you got, Jisoo? Pink Venom. <laughs> oh. There it is. Hey, message uh, before I play uh, number one. Message to Blinks. What would you oh. like to tell him? I love you, Blinks. <laughs> oh, right. That's so sweet. Quick recap. Album's out. Couple of singles out, tour coming up, a lot going on. Oh my God. Uh, they're not going to stay in a haunted hotel room for me, just a side note, but that's okay. Um, what else do people, Blinks, need to know from Blackpink? They already know. <laughs> they know everything. <laughs> everything you know, about us. They already know that uh, Jisoo had Shake Shack in the morning. Oh, wait. Uh, in and out. Uh, in and out. Oh my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm not from here. In and out in the morning. Have you had like do you, do Shake Shack or In and Out? Don't answer. Don't, don't answer, answer that. Don't answer. Oh, don't. Which do I don't we know, like but better? Don't do, you, do you have a favorite? <laughs> oh, I like both. Oh. You know what? I, I live in LA. I've been here forever. I've never had Shake Shack. Oh. I'm a terrible person. I'm an In and Out guy. What can I say? I don't know. <laughs> in and Out's really good. It is good. I didn't mean to interrupt though. Any any other thoughts too? Uh, any any other things people need to know? Um, I mean, if I have a chance to speak to our fans, we would really like to say thank you so much for all the love and support you know i couldn't this i could say this over and over but we are so very happy on how how our fans are reacting to our new song and our album and we're just really happy and it makes all of us so happy so blinks thank you so much and we love you thank you guys for hanging out (laughs) Yeah, Thank you. you for having us, Jojo. Absolutely. At the end of every interview, it's going to be kind of tough because you guys are over there and I'm over here, but fist bump to make it official. Give me a little, hold on. Uh, uh, boom, oh. and a, boom, and a, boom, and a, boom. And a boom. 